This week included Oil Kings team picture day, including Pelch, Gurnat, and Awaniak, three Oil Kings players previously drafted into the NHL by the Oilers. What kind of a season have they had? Find out next. They may be drafted on a Friday or Saturday, and on Sunday they'll be in a development camp with us. So that's the process. Once they become one of our prospects, the process begins right away. For players like defenseman Martin Gurnat from Slovakia, the English language is a big part of that process. I a lot of uh, work so about in defense because I play, I think, well in offense, but my betting was defense. And Martin's done a really good job. The first of all, the transition comes in in the language, and so uh, it's very important. Uh, one of our scouts, Frank Musil, has mentioned to us many times that number one consideration for players is to get the English language. And then they're much more likely to buy into the whole atmosphere. Now he kills penalties, which he wasn't doing before, and he's used in all situations. But the, the bottom line, he's a defenseman. You have to learn to play defense first, and he's learning that. Latvian winger Christian Spelsch, one of junior hockey's fastest skaters, is in his second year here. Is among Oil Kings' leading plus-minus performers. Feel very good. It's a lot of good players, uh, skilled guys, skilled guys, and we feel like. Very really tight. It's my second year in in all things, and uh, it's definitely it's better than last year. Here he's coming from Latvia, a smaller country, but uh, this is his second year. He's made a really good transition, and uh, not only a transition in terms of speaking the language and understanding the language and communication, but a transition in terms of his play. And uh, he, we feel like he's evolving into a very good two-way, pretty complete hockey player, and uh, checks well. It's good habits, and then uh, even more so now where he's excelling in offense and having a real good second half of the year for the Oil Kings. Center Travis Iwanek saw his season ruined by a shoulder injury. Played just five games, but is hoping to contribute in playoffs. A nice stuff, you know, skating, uh, you know, shooting, puck skill, stuff like that. So I think it's uh, it's been a good year for that. It's been a different year, you know, obviously not you know, being in the lineup all year because of the injury, but I've had... I said lots of time to, you know, work on my own game. Yeah, what did the Oilers ask of you this year? You know, what did they want you to do? Uh, I think just kind of, you know, working on, you know, my role on the team. Um, you know, kind of just that two-way guy, you know, energy player, good penalty killer, guy who's going to play physical and, um, you know, be good on face-offs and stuff like that. So just try to, you know, really define my role and just uh, work towards what I'm good at. We think it's important to be able to think the game well. And then we, we think it's important that you have a high level of compete. He had to overcome that adversity, so his, the main goal for him is to rehabilitate, to get better, get the operation, and get ready to play again, which he's getting close to now. The St. Albert native and resident is itching to play. Uh, I think he's got to play as a team. No one's kind of just got to, um, you know, play to their strengths. You know, the guys who score goals have to, you know, continue that in the playoffs, and guys who play physical have to do that. Uh, growing up, who was your favorite NHL team to watch? Uh, I like Colorado. Joe Sackick was a good player and, you know, lots of good players on that team. Who's your favorite NHL player now and why? Uh, well, in terms of a, a forward, I think Crosby. Uh, obviously, a pretty good player. Um, as a D-man myself, I kind of uh, look up to Nicholas Lindstrom. Uh, obviously, a pretty good D-man too, so. All right. Um, favorite memory so far of your hockey career? Um, probably being drafted by Edmonton, you know, as a late round pick and I uh, got the opportunity to come here as a 16 year old and uh, almost made the team and then I was fortunate enough to make it this year, so. Toughest uh, road city to visit, uh, the toughest crowd to play in front of in the road? Um, probably Kelowna. Kelowna was pretty, pretty big crowd there. Uh, Vancouver too. Favorite place to visit on the road, favorite city? Um, actually, we uh, went to Victoria this year, so it was my first time riding the ferry, and uh, so it was pretty interesting. And that's it for this week's Viking Mechanical Oil Kings Report. I'm Tim Dancy. Viking Mechanical's Oil Kings Report on Shaw is brought to you by Viking Mechanical. Plumbing, heating, gas fittings. For information, call 780-PLUMBER. That's 780-758-6237.